friends, I'm Ryan. This is Demos in the Dark. Tonight, we're taking a look at the Dahlia Dual Analog Delay Pedal from Flower Pedals. Now, if you know me, you know that I have an extremely short attention span, and pedals as robust as this can sometimes throw me, but I'm gonna do my best, because there's a lot of really, really cool stuff in here. I used it all over on that track. These are Rose, these are on synth, these are on guitar. Um, and that was a polished part. So now we're going to get into the decidedly not polished part. You know, like when I try out gear, I don't have a bunch of like pre-prepared licks and riffs. And I find endless soloing to be a bit of a distraction. So uh, I, I just noodle, you know, and just play some stuff and listen to what the thing is doing. And that's what I'm going to do here tonight. So tonight I'm running into a very old uh, Scythe Guitars OH20 into a Milkman stereo amp. Because this is the stereo pedal. I have a little bit of reverb uh, going there on a um, universal audio plugin. Um, I believe it's the plate reverb. Okay, so before you go messing with the controls on here, you need to decide what it is that you're actually going to be controlling. There are two delay signals that are going on all the time. And right here we have this control function. So we have it set to the left, which is one. So that is one of the delays. Change the time here. Now we can choose the other delay, the second delay here. decide how you want them to be routed. So right now it's routed to just pure stereo. We can go parallel with that. Also go series with it. mode on this toggle here is called time lock and it allows you to do a couple of different things if you have it in the middle these will be completely independent of each other Thing that you can do is you can have a division between the two and so you set it over here to div and then what we have here is the divisions will be the second delay so if it sounds like this
So the time is the time that you set with the time knob or the tap tempo, and the additional delay is a different division of that tempo. And then lastly, there's a wide setting. And what this does is it just enhances the stereo image by moving the other delay just slightly. So. It already sounds bigger. And then if we want to make some adjustments on that. we can do with these toggles with the secondary is decide what kind of wave shape we want for our modulation. control the depth of that modulation. This here. And we can control the speed of it as well. Slow it down. So we have the tone, which is basically just a cutoff frequency for a low pass filter. So counterclockwise darker, clockwise brighter. Then underneath it, you have a gain control, and this is basically how hard you're hitting the bucket brigades. Now, this is analog, so you get all of the noise and stuff like that that you get with analog circuits. It's just what it is. It sounds great in a mix. You don't really hear that kind of stuff outside of it unless you have like superior ears. There is also ramping here. Now, when you find a sound that you like, you just save a preset rather than trying to figure out how you got there again at some point. And there's some really great presets on here. They're really easy to access and save. Um,
to that, and I'm sure there's other stuff I missed too. Um, there is MIDI in and out, so you can control this with a MIDI controller. You can go, we've been going mono in, stereo out. You can go stereo in, stereo out. You can go mono in, mono out. There is expression. Almost everything on here is uh, controllable with an expression pedal. So you can really dive in and get some really, really incredible sounds out of here and really tailor the delays to what you want. So uh, this is just awesome. It's uh, it is, There's so much stuff crammed into a very small package here. So thank you, Flower Petals, for sending this over for me to check out. And thank you for the privilege of your time. Mm -hmm.